back to my channel everybody so it is that time again we're doing a live pregnancy test results i'm kind of crouching down because if i stand up it'll be like this so if i'm like leaning forward like this um it's just because i don't know where to put the camera so i have to like stand all awkward but just ignore that um it's time to take another pregnancy test and before i do it actually you know what? i'm gonna dip it right now and then i'll talk to you guys a little bit as we're waiting the three minutes i think it's three minutes so yeah let's dip the test okay so i took the test i covered the test so i can't keep peeking at it um and now i am just going to talk to you guys a little bit about what's been going on and um where i'm at right now so my period is supposed to start in four days and these tests say they can tell you six days sooner i know it doesn't really happen like that for everybody but that's what they say and um i'm four days before my period so five days before my missed period but this month has been a little bit discouraging honestly um when it comes to trying to conceive i take ovulation tests as most of you guys know if you watch my videos and you've been following along with me for our trying to conceive journey you know i take ovulation tests almost every day so last month as we were trying i started taking the ovulation test like the day after my period ended and um, I didn't get a positive ovulation test until two weeks later and that's the exact day that my app said I would be ovulating. So this month I decided to wait um, two days before my app said I was ovulating and to like to start taking them. So I started taking them two days before my app said I was going to start ovulating. I never got a positive ovulation test so I don't think I even ovulated this month. Um, which is just really discouraging and I'm not really sure why. I don't know what's going on with my body. Um, as far as I know, I ovulate every month. I have normal cycles and, um, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that my last cycle was not normal at all. The, this is going to be major TMI, so I'm just warning you guys now, click out if you're going to get grossed out by it. But my period bleeding was not normal. It was darker. It was like brown. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but yeah, it was darker. It wasn't like a normal flow at all. And then, um, I didn't start bleeding again. My periods normally last about like seven days. This one only lasted like four and a half days maybe. And like I said, it just wasn't a normal flow. And then I didn't get a positive ovulation test. So I'm not sure if I even had my period or if it was bleeding from some other, something else. Um, and unless I ovulated before I started taking the test, um, I just didn't ovulate this month, which it's just like, I don't know. It makes me really sad <laughs> because I don't understand like why, but I think it's been three minutes. So we're going to go ahead and check this test. Um, I really don't have high hopes at all. I think it's going to be negative and it just makes me really sad. Um, I just figured I'd buy the test just in case I ovulated before I started taking the, ov the ovulation test because there is a chance because I haven't, I hadn't been taking them. The whole time like i said i just started taking them like right before my app said so my only little bit of hope is that i ovulated early but i just honestly don't know if that's the case so let's check this test and just get on with it <laughs> i'm probably about to be really sad but that's okay so it is negative looks like let me get it in the light Yeah, definitely negative. So, I don't think I ovulated this month because if I had ovulated early, it would have showed up by now because my app says I'm 9 DPO according to when the app said I was ovulating. Obviously, that's not really when I ovulated. So, I just don't think I ovulated this month and I'm not sure why. And, um, it's just really discouraging and I don't know how I'm going to get pregnant if I don't ovulate. So, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Um, thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah, I don't, I just don't know where to go from here. I guess I can just wait and see if I get like a normal flow next time. Hopefully I do. And hopefully I ovulate next month because this month I feel like I didn't even have a chance. Um, 
and it just sucks but thank you guys for watching i will definitely keep you updated on my trying to conceive journey if you like these kinds of videos um, and you like following along with me and my family as we try to have baby number two please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below letting me know that you're new i'm gonna be continuing to update you guys um there's like a pretty i'm pretty sure why i didn't ovulate this month but i don't want this video to be like super long and it's already at eight minutes without me editing it and i'm probably not going to edit it too much so um i'm probably going to do a sit down sometime this week and just really explain to all you guys how why i haven't ovulated this month because i know why um but it's just kind of a lot so i don't want to get into all that right now because that's not why you guys clicked on this video but um yeah Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Leave me a comment below, and I will see you guys Friday.